there's a lot of good stuff going on in your shot, but actually, uh, even looking back uh, at your very original version, let me actually uh, get to that. To the very first version, there was a lot of good things, but what uh, happens, uh, that's why I'm very sometimes reserved about the uh, on the spot uh, paint overs because you know, like you can do it quickly, kind of sloppy, and then sometimes may end up with uh, kind of compromised record. I see what's the, I think it's Quan who was doing the notes, what he tries to go at, but then he might have, you know, rushed a little bit and maybe he got brushed too wide and then he ended up with what he ended up. And then you took it kind of a little bit too literally and went what he ended up painting and, you know, and went a little bit too far exactly what ended up in his painted reference, which was not exactly, I'm not sure that's exactly what he meant, but I see what he was trying to communicate with you, though his uh, paint over might have kind of, you know, was a little bit uh, too quick and uh, maybe too dense and whatnot, and then he just, you know, didn't go back to reiterate or fine-tune it whatnot. So what I'm trying to say is that your very first original uh, version here, they had, they had a lot of good uh, things in here going on. First of all, that's uh, he's standing out here, there's a strong, I guess it's a moonlight or something, uh, the, uh, that was successful. The only thing that what he probably suggested for you here is to make it less frontal. Very often, um, uh, let me actually open it up a little bit more, I'll start from here. What would be ni very nice is that uh, what, what people do very often, especially beginning lighting, people tend to do like front lead object because then they can see all the details of it, but then what happened, the uh, image tend to be kind of on the flat side. Overall, you probably want to try to avoid very front feels. You want to kind of always try to hit your subject a little bit from the side and rake it from the side, from the sides, and maybe just a little bit of spill in the middle and try to allow for some core, maybe darker area, core shadows, so that uh, that what actually gives the uh, geometry volume, give it shape. And I think that's what he was reacting here, is that he suggested that your feel here could be can be less frontal. It would be really nice if you can maybe swinging uh, this way. Do you see my cursor? Or, um, yes. Yeah. Swinging a little bit, not much actually, simply to allow a little bit wider core shadow right here. All right? So, on the other hand, he also suggested this strong ring that you brought it in, which was also a great idea. That's another side uh, light source from the side, and it's very motivated. You have this very strong uh, light source from here. To hit this very strong side rim, but maybe actually make it somewhat whitish. So that's exactly what you did in your this version, I believe. Okay. So this is much better, much more successful. I would almost suggest um, maybe roll it back a little, but it's almost becoming too frontal at this point. Kind of split the difference between your original version and what you have here, and maybe have it stronger. All right. And here you have that feel that he was, that you moved uh, up to your side a little bit, but now it's very dim. And it would be nice to actually uh, bring it back a little bit. The reason for it is that we kind of, uh, in this scene, we start to lose the main character. We have this interesting wall with some nice, interesting, specky highlights, this bright thing. And he's kind of get very blended. <coughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry. He's integrated almost like way too much. We almost like hiding him out. Very often, sometimes you do like mute the. You want to have a like secondary character, and he should be in the scene. But you, there's another character that acts out here. Then he would be a good kind of background character here. We can see him. He is well shaped, but he is kind of muted and kind of very as a part of background to some degree. But then, we don't have another performer in this scene, you know what I'm saying? 
So what I'm reading, how I read this uh, image is that we probably want to feature him quite a bit, a little bit. Kind of almost like backpedal a little bit back to your very original version. Does it make sense? Yeah. Yeah, do you hear me? All right, good. Well, another good addition that you can add here to kind of make him stand out a little bit more you, is that uh, note that this wall right here, it has a very strong pink uh, light on it. And what usually happens, those lights are bounced back. You also have a good opportunity, in addition to like pink rim on this side, that probably will be your strongest pink rim, introduce like another pink rim, maybe half intensity on this side as well. Almost like outline him that way. The motivation for this, uh, for the pink rim on this side is the, this slide that bounces off the wall back on him. And this way we'll have an interesting color scheme. We have this uh, darker core shadow here, kind of towards the middle of him. We'll have a pink strong rim that's kind of wraps around him a little bit. Then we have this blue cast on this side, kind of like shaping him up. And yet we'll have another pink thin outline rim right here to kind of even carve him out even further. You actually have some of it happening right here, I see. See what I'm saying? In this area. But it could be even more to spill a little bit more into it so that to take advantage of this motivation and carve him out even more. That's what I would do. Does that make sense? Uh, is there any intentions that I may be missing from your side? Or are you, what's, I guess I forgot to ask, what's you going for with this shot? What's your, you try to feature him or what, what are we trying to get here? What's the story? Yeah, the, the, main, the main idea was to, to feature him and um, it... his environment. So yeah. um, all, of, all of what you said makes sense for, for getting there. Yeah. Yeah, once again, this is you, uh, once again, I almost like wish I can blend your first version, initial version, with this a little bit. And the only difference from the first one, I would swing this field, which you already did here. It looks like either you dimmed it or you like because you swing it a little bit, kind of from, make it, made it less frontal, it kind of works that way. So mm -hmm. allowing a little bit core shadow in the middle and then yet kind of spill out some details and have this nice, strong, sharp, rims pink rims very strong on this side definitely motivation and some gentle outline on the screen right and then we pop him out there and then we kind of feature him a little bit more because right now he's way too integrated into scene almost like part of the background almost like if you if you watch the shot from the get-go you actually see i'll look here right away because there's more contrast more interesting shapes all of a sudden and he's yeah. a little bit more muted. Another thing in your first version, it felt like it was a little bit more speckier, more like highlights visible. Uh, let's see if it's too, if I'm uh, still having it. You see what I'm talking about? This like bright, yeah. bright the, little details. Um, yeah. I had gotten feedback that um, my materials actually for the character weren't set up as intended, so there was no subsurface scattering, and there was actually no. Um, metallic on him that was uh the the normal colors so uh that's accounts for a lot of the variation in how he initially appeared well the thing is that uh those all technical i guess details from just final result visual parts some of those the strong little uh highlights they kind of nice because they add contrast they add this yeah. uh, black and white ratio, and that's, all, that's where our eyes tend to look right away. And also, mm -hmm. those, uh, spec like that's, it seems like the specular um, highlights, they're kind of indi uh, usually indication of like wet, damp environment. And that's what seems to be here. It's like either after the rain or like before the rain. There's a lot of specularity once again on this wall on the screen, right? And it looks kind of interesting and draw a lot of attention. I don't want to downplay it because it looks good, but we, it would be nice to compete with the wall strongly enough with your main character. But here, what we get yeah. all of a sudden, we got this nice little highlights. Whatever, whatever it takes to kind of get the, get get to it. Um, 
you can actually arrive with it just using your lights you maybe uh, can boost just specular component of your lights also maybe smaller size uh, light can uh, give you a little bit sharper highlights versus uh, large size light so okay. you you don't necessarily have to tweak materials you can maybe actually come kind of uh, approach it or compensate for it on your lights just kind of boosting some uh, specularity on the lights but also my, uh, do you light them separately there's a separate set of lights so they share some of them and then character gets a few extra how do you approach it technically wise they in this instance um some of the environment lights do um hit the character and yeah he has some some additional well that's good that's usually the best way to approach it because uh, quite frankly you want to try to keep it as simple as possible from the get-go and some of those adding those complementary custom treatment only if you have to that's usually the i mean in my experience that works the best because the simpler you keep it the more common lights are the kind of work for everybody is the better it's usually then you kind of the more you start to um, frankenstein it the harder it's maintain it reasonable you see what i'm saying yes so so this approach it's a nice good good way to go so um but once again i guess with this particular case if we, we if it's possible with shared lights i would suggest you consider once again if it has individual one stronger more like specular maybe ring too add like gain, usually um there's a way to gain specularity component of the lights try to see if you can boost them like multiply them by like a 20 percent whatnot like you know like 1.2 whatever i'm not sure what's the interface you're using and, okay. Uh, yeah. But uh, there are some good specular specular highlights on his field. Quite frankly, I think what I would do is just again, once again, boost his rims, maybe a little bit stronger feel. Or if if it's a if it's a shared feel on him, then maybe add another one that kind of maybe bring some more highlights. If it's separate feel, maybe boost it a little bit, and yet one okay. more one more like gentle rim that justified by the bounce from this wall on this side and then we kind of carve him out we pop him out a little bit better from the background he will start to stand out even more be a little bit more featured sounds good yes thank you all right so any question or concern on your side that we may you know something that uh, wasn't clear or you want to kind of clarify or something uh no i think i think i got it for for next step so thank you very much okay good good all right so let's see 